Okay, first video for unit six, midpoint and distance formula. Um, if you remember, that was the first thing that we learned at the beginning of the unit. Very, very easy formulas. I'm going to walk you through the process to find these, whether you're using the actual formula or you're kind of doing it in your head. So let's work it out first with the formula, and then we'll do it the shorthand way to see if it works out for us. So to find a midpoint, I first need a couple of endpoints. Okay, so I'm going to start my line at negative 10, 5, and go to 0, 9. Now, I want to label these points. It just makes your life a lot easier. Okay, now I'm able to just simply substitute the numbers in where I need them and then solve the equation that way. So my first x value is going to be negative 10, and my second x value is going to be 0, and I'm going to divide that by 2. Then my y values is 5 plus 9 divided by 2. Now I'm just going to solve that algebraic equation. So negative 10 plus 0 is negative 10, divided by 2 is negative 5. And then 5 plus 9 is 14, divided by 2 is 7. So according to the formula, my midpoint between these two endpoints is going to be negative 5, 7. Now let's go ahead and just do it in our head, um, based on what you know of halfway between a point, one and the other. And let's see if we get the same answer. So I'm going to write the answer up here, just to make sure that I don't lose myself. So the other way to do this, the in-your-head way to do this is just draw a line. And it doesn't have to be on a coordinate line, graph, it can be anywhere else. It can be on the board, it can be on a piece of paper, it can be on your desk, not really, just clean it. Um, and then make your other point here. So negative 10, 5, and 0, 9. So it's, this is my line with my two endpoints. I can just easily count and see what the midpoint's going to be. So I know to get from negative 10 to 0, that's 10 units. And half of that, or halfway through, is going to get me at the point negative 5. Okay, don't make a mistake and say 5, because it's not 5. I'm on the negative part of the axis if I were to draw it on a grid, and I would be going over to 0. So the point's going to be negative 5. I'm going to do the same thing with the y values. 5 to 9, that's 4 units. So half of that is 2. Don't write 2, though. It doesn't, anywhere go, it doesn't go anywhere near 2. So it's going to be 5 plus 2, which gives me 7. So the point here is 7 just like we had before.